Barmy Badger Army, welcome to another review and I hope you're all well. Thank you everyone for supporting the show, it has been fantastic. And of course we wouldn't have got to the 5k milestone without you guys, so thank you, thank you very much. Don't forget of course, the Spyro Trap is out this weekend, Saturday night, 9pm, starring Simp John, the lovely Nick Field, Mark, Idris, Sober Flight, many others so thank you very much to everyone who supported that and helped fund it because we're finally there the 20 minute film the spyro chap will be here tomorrow night so i'm looking forward to that see you here at 9 p.m today we're going to review guess what guess who guess who i don't know if you guys ever remember guess who but this one's fairly old this was badger jr's first Board game ever. So that's insane. Ages six plus, adult assembly required. There you go, and you've got all different characters. Is your person wearing a hat? Does your person have blue eyes? Guess your opponent's mystery. Character first to win. Features classic tabletop boards. Now also, it's gonna be fantastic because I'm going to review this Guess Who, and then I might do the Cluedo one soon as well. I'll show you that in future, because we haven't really done that one. Now, Cluedo works by you opening and shutting these different boards. As you may well know, here's the blue one. Let's hope it shows up on the green screen, Wibble. And then we've got things like this. So you've got all these different characters. That was on purpose. And then you can have to, then you have to sort of eliminate them by saying different things like, have they got blue eyes? Have they got black hair? Do they have a beard? How big is their nose? All these different things. And like what colour their eyes are, what colour hat they're wearing. You can go really in depth with this. And you can go, are they wearing a hat with a green stripe? And if they go, yes, then everything else goes down and you know who the winner is, you know? So you have to be really interested and really quite in depth with it. You can go quite evil with this game because you can really, really narrow it down and be quite cheeky. And if the person says yes or no, there you go. This is why I love it, because it can be quite a, a game for young children. And then you can go to like Badger Junior's age or older, or of course, man child age, and go really, really high up and go like, are oh, they doing this? What colour their eyes? You know, is their hair wavy? You can go really in, t in depth with all the different answers. And of course, this is the red board. Yes. So there you go, it's very similar, except all the characters have got like a red tinge around the edge, and you have to sort of guess the different people. And of course, when you have your card, you put those down because it's obviously not going to be you, is it? But there you go. So that's really cool. And then the opponent has to guess your card that is featured here on one of these many cards. You've got these sorts of characters here and you sort of can guess which ones they are. You put them at the front and then the opponent has to guess your card like that. If you never played Guess Who, I do recommend it. It's a fun little silly game to play at work, passes a bit of time, and all sorts of different things. It's fantastic. There we are. And you've got like this character here as well with a fairly bigger nose and a baseball cap and glasses. So you can say they're wearing a baseball cap around, around the wrong way. Have they got a big nose? Have they got a small mouth? Have they got big eyes? All these different questions that you can ask. They're quite random. Um, a lot of people in this game have got big noses. It's rather bizarre. I think this is an older print because I think they have changed the way the people look now. Uh, uh, it's slightly different. I'm not sure. I haven't seen it. But there is an example of some of the characters. Uh, there you go. Now, I really enjoy this version of Guess Who. There's a few little quirks to it where you can, like I say, cheat and be naughty and up the level of hardness on the game. But I think that's part of the fun. I don't know about you, but it's really fun to trick people and say all these different things. They go, yeah, and then, <clears throat> near enough, all the board goes down and you have like two people and you can guess loads of cool questions. So for me, that is exceptional.
But yeah, so I really like Guess Who. I think it's a fun little game and uh, it's a nice way to pass 10 minutes if you're at a loose end. So I would definitely give Guess Who a good solid 9 out of 10 on the gameplay uh, board. And let me know what your favourite games were as a kid because this is nearly 10 years old now and that is like a little heirloom for Badger Jr. when he's old. He can go, yeah, this is my first ever board game. I love doing stuff like that with my old Connect 4 that died, Boo Hoo, and other games that I've got now that bring back lots of nice memories. Righty ho! Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget Spyro Trap tomorrow night, and let me know your favourite board game as a kid in the comments. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye!